Hello everyone, in this video, we'll walk you through installing Mastodon on a digital ocean droplet using the Mastodon one-click app available in the digital ocean marketplace. Before we begin, here are the prerequisites. You'll need to create an account on DigitalOcean to be able to use our services. A domain name, you will need to have a domain name to use with Mastodon. This will be the URL at which your Mastodon instance will be accessible and an SMTP server. Mastodon has built-in support for SMTP so that you can get emails when you sign up and for other activities on your server. If you don't have your own SMTP service, I recommend SendGrid. After signing up, they will guide you through setting up your SMTP service and link it with your domain provider so you can send emails from your domain name. So let's go ahead to the marketplace and install Mastodon. I'm going to select Amsterdam data center 3. I will also enable the database cluster, which is a managed PostgreSQL database for your Mastodon droplet. It is good for daily backups, disaster recovery. So I'm going to go ahead and enable that. And we're going to keep all the others to default based on your use case you can configure your droplet however you deem fit but we'll just stick to the basics here i'm going to choose an authentication method as ssh key i already have my ssh key set up if not go ahead and please set up your ssh key i'll also enable ipv6 let's give it a name byte macedon and i'm going to spin up the instance in Hardbyte project. We can also set up DigitalOcean Spaces, which is our dedicated object storage that can be used to store all your media assets and other digital assets on your Mastodon server. So let's go to Spaces. In this case, I've already created a object storage called files.hardbyte.io. You can also go ahead and create your own. We'll use this while we are configuring our Mastodon server. We'll see that shortly. All right, while our droplets are being created, let's head to SendGrid to configure our SMTP service. To set up your SMTP server using SendGrid, you will need to sign up for a SendGrid account and obtain your API key. Once you have your API key, you can use it to configure your SMTP service settings. So I already have an account and I've already gone ahead and created my API key. Once this is done, you can also set up the domain authentication. The domain authentication is a required step when setting up your SendGrid account because it's essential to ensure the deliverability of your email. So let's go ahead and authenticate our hotbyte.io domain. I have GoDaddy as my provider. It's going to be hotbyte.io. So this is the domain from which the users of the Mastodon instance that we're going to create are going to receive emails from. All right, now this has generated our DNS record. So we need to copy these and add it to our DNS section in our DigitalOcean Cloud Control. So let's go here, click on networking. Let's go to domains. And we have hotbyte.io already registered here. Let's go to CNAME records and we're gonna copy one, one at a time. And paste them here. All right, once you have added the records, let's head back to our project and see if the droplet is up and running. Yes, it is. We have the droplets up and running. We also have the database cluster up and running. So let's copy the, the IP address of the droplet and we need to configure our A records for our domain. So let's go back to networking, click the domains tab, 
we head to our heartbyte.io managed domain let's go and edit our a record for heartbyte.io and point it to the ip address of the droplet and let's save all right so just a short recap we have spun up a, a mastodon droplet and we have also configured a database cluster and object storage let's now open a terminal and ssh into the server and get started with our mastodon server configuration so i'm going to go ahead and open a terminal and ssh into the server which automatically starts up a setup wizard and it's going to be an interactive session so we can add some details here so let's go ahead and give our domain name which is hotbyte.io do you want to store user uploaded files on the cloud we're gonna click yes because we've set up our object storage using our digital ocean spaces so we're gonna click yes here it's going to be digital ocean spaces and the name of the space this is going to be ams3 dot digital ocean spaces.com going to be mastodon all right this is going to be smtp.sendgrid.net going to leave it to the default ports username is going to be api key and i'm going to the password is going to be the api secret key that was generated here Oh, let's go to settings api keys this is going to be your username and password and let's keep this in tp authentication to plain all right this is going to be the email id from which the uh, users who sign up are going to get notifications from it's going to be notifications at hotbyte.io let's do you want to send a test email saying no for now so now it's booting up your Mastodon instance. Let's give the same name. So looks like everything was configured and the setup is complete now. So we should be able to successfully log into our Mastodon instance. There you go. So you have your Mastodon instance running on DigitalOcean Droplet. So here's a quick summary. We have now installed Mastodon on a DigitalOcean Droplet using Mastodon one-click app available on the DigitalOcean Marketplace. We had configured a managed PostgreSQL database. We've also configured a DigitalOcean Spaces static object storage to store our media assets. We did configure the SMTP server service using SendGrid. I hope you folks enjoyed this video and feel free to reach out to us as we are curious to see how you set up your Mastodon instances. We are also going to provide all the links to the blogs and other relevant material related to setting up your Mastodon instance on DigitalOcean in the description. Thank you for watching. Until then, this is Abhi signing off.